Hello beautiful people, today I'm taking you on a journey to Copenhagen with me. Let's explore this city, get some positive vibes, let's enjoy these fantastic views and as always I'm gonna take you to several spots that I find worth visiting. We start with the Aldo, which is a concept store where you can buy all kind of furniture and de decoration for your interior and just other sort of decoration for your interior design. I personally really love it because they have collected so many different Danish designers at one spot. You just want to add up some details for your interior I think this is the place to visit Another thing I really love about Copenhagen, it's the flowers, to be honest. I always pick up flowers at Kongens Nytov. So at the moment I'm on my way to the library, the Koglie Bibliothek. I just love coming here for a coffee, for some sandwich, just to get a snack with a beautiful view. I, I think the prices here are also quite good and it's not always crowded as many other hip places in town. Yeah, by the way, speaking of books, I've been to magazine, the department store here in Copenhagen and I just passed by their bookshelves and I must say, it's such a good selection of books. So if you guys look for buying something, maybe books for, maybe books to give as presents, I would totally recommend being here, coming here. And even if you, as me, just love browsing, pop by, just spend some time here. I usually come here when I'm in between the meetings and I just want to kind of walk around, get some inspiration, maybe just look at what's new has been published so you know it's just a huge source of fresh exciting energy for me
and now we are on the way to the restaurant. That night was actually my birthday, my 30th birthday. So I decided to celebrate it in Donda. It's um, quite a new restaurant, amazing menu. To be honest, now I'm looking at these shots and I'm so happy I filmed that because I actually remember the flavor of all these dishes. They were that good. So I would completely recommend you to visit. Gunny, obviously a place for fashionistas to visit, but also if you just in general want to learn more about the way Danish designers think, I would say you should come here because this place is such a colorful corner in the city. And even in Stockholm, where I live at the moment, whenever I pass by Gunny, I always drop in and I just look at what they have there because I find this brand very conceptual, very stylish. Just interesting to see how the world thinks that Scandinavia is all about being black and white and Gunny proves that it's not at all. And that's why I love it, because I genuinely think that the Nordics are not all about minimalism and being like monochrome. I think this is truly the Nordics. When you express yourself through your garments, when you show your inner self through the clothes that you wear. I really respect this brand for giving the opportunity for, for people to show them who they are. There was some heavy rain in the city, but I had another plan. That day I wanted to visit another place I've heard of a lot. It's a taco place called Hia de Sanchez and it's amazing. The tacos here are just so good. If you are still not there watching this video, I don't know what you are doing at the moment, but I would say 100% just go there, enjoy your lunch. This portion is actually filling quite a lot, so I was quite full after this lunch break, so totally worth visiting. I actually like this area, Kötbün. Every time I'm here, I'm just so excited to see what's new they have built in here. This place just never stops being developed.
popping by Luca to grab some pizza because it's soon evening and me and my friend we just wanted to have some pizza to take home we actually also got some front row spots in the metro as you probably know there is no drivers in the Danish metro in Copenhagen so we're just sitting here on the front row with my pizza looking forward to go home and to have dinner. Bon appetit and see you in the next episode. <laughs>